Hello, buddy, and welcome back to part five of episode fifteen. Hopefully, you have come back to watch part five. That's a lot of a lot of episodes. We're breaking them down. We are breaking them down oh. for you. I know they hate the long ones. And they hate so the final DNA. thoughts so anyway. on this episode. Yes, talking about the firings. About the firings. Yes. Everyone got me to thinking because of what you were talking about about. Why don't we have a new nation? A well, we need it. We need it. We we brought back DX. Boy, have we brought back DX. We brought back the corporation in the in the Boy, form. Have we brought back the corporation in the form of the authority. Yeah, that's exactly all it is. That's exactly what it is. It's a new corporation. I was, you know, I was thinking that with your idea of the nation, how can we do it? Well, you got a few people already. JTG, right? Brodus. Mm-hmm. There's two right there. Two right there. They got fired. That got fired. Yes. That could be part of the new nation. They could have their own referee, Mark Harris. He's playing. Is he playing? He is. <laughs> you I saw a picture of him. Yeah. That's like the NWO now. We're not gonna have the why we're not? Have their own, 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 own ref. Because there's con there's conspiracy, so we gotta have our own referee. Hey, whatever works, I guess. Right. But uh, I was thinking, you know, but you need to have a little more. So I think you need to fire wrestling fire Titus O'Neil, mm -hmm. Sam Packin, and our truth. Interesting. I mean, and make it look like they are already gone from the company. Right. Let them do other bookings. Right. Not with, not sign with TNA, but other little cloud shows. Not Ring of Honor, yeah. Not Ring of Honor. Go to Japan for a little bit and everything. And let it simmer down until Survivor Series. Right. During a title match, during a singles match, don't make no difference. Boom. Have Titus O'Neil and Truth show back up and attack over. Attack both the champion and the challenger. Mm -hmm. And before security can get a hold of them, over the barricade, out of the building. There you go. Hear nothing back from you. You know, you show a little few clips, maybe. Or don't show it all. Say, we don't mm -hmm. need to see. We don't need to don't don't talk. Don't, we don't show people that don't work for us. Right. That was a, that was a fan jumping into the ring. Yes. So we can't show yeah. that. They got away before they got arrested. Yep. You wait till TLC. Mm -hmm. Boom. Happens again. But this time, you do one at the beginning of the match. How about the pre-show? Do you watch the pre-show? Like, give them a reason to watch it. Like anything can happen to the pre-show. You may have O'Neill and Ryan Truth again, or Brodus or JTG. Right. Jump two people, beat them up, get away. Later on, the, later on the, in the and the card, toward the back right for the main Take event. Some more people. Another attack. There you go. So you're thinking, okay, now what's going on here now? And then, go away. Don't mention it. I mean, don't. Right. I mean, during the show, may want don't bring, don't don't go back and show it on video. You know, look what happened. Right, because you look like you're pushing those people. Right, don't push Hey, no. They're don't breaking the hey, law. You mention it like, hey, they're breaking the law. Right. And they're there. They're, they're, if you, you show them being arrested. And as far as you go, about. yeah. Don't let them get out of the building. Show them getting arrested. Or don't even, or just say they got arrested. Yeah. Don't have a camera if they're showing them. Do exactly. not show them at all. If you have a Treat camera, show like a real fan. It makes it look like it's part of the show. Treat them like a real fan. You jumped over, you got in the ring, you do not work for us, you get arrested. Yep. You touched a wrestler. Tell them they got arrested. Leave it like that. And tell them out of the building, not to the back. Wait till the Royal Rumble. Have all four sitting on the front row. Of course, everybody knows. Well, they're sitting on the front row. You know. Tickets, though. They yeah. show the tickets. You go the NWO route when Hall and Nash was there. Yep. They try to get them out of there. Hey, we got tickets. We're, we're supposed to be here. We're supposed to be here. Yep. Royal Rumble. You're down to four people. Have them jump, jump, jump the barricade, jump into the ring, toss the other three out, and help Mark Henry win. There you go. But they get arrested. They caught it off this time. Mm -hmm. The next night on Raw, you have Hunter come out saying that uh, whatever what happened on the Royal Rumble, his win is void. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. So he'll have to re make a rematch. Right. And Elimination Chamber. We'll make a fatal four way. We'll make it Mark Henry, let's say there was John Cena. Yeah, the who other, was one the other three out. that got tossed out. Yeah. We'll say they got tossed out, we'll make a fatal four way. And uh, let's see where I'm at now. Yep. They get in the ring and they surround right. Mark Henry. Yeah, they and surround Mark Henry and Triple H. Triple H calls for security and no one comes. Right. JTG's on the mic. Says they want some payback for Triple H firing them last year. And they back Triple H in the corner. Mark Henry steps between them. Of course, company and, man. Exactly. Well, you not, you, to, do you want to protect the boss? Wants to protect the boss and wants to get that title shot again. Of course. So he don't want to be taken out of that. Oh, no, definitely not. So you so, protect the boss. But then he's in the corner, Henry steps between them as they back up, but then Henry steps out of the way. Triple H wants to know, what are you doing? 
Do you want to be employed, unemployed like these nobodies of Mark tells Triple H that they aren't unemployed anymore? Because this morning, we all signed new ironclad contracts. Hey, we're in a big show. We did. Thanks, to our, forever, thanks so. to our new manager, who also got fired, Teddy Long. Um, that's what you bring Teddy. That gives Teddy Long enough rest. Because he got fired here in, in June. Right. And he don't show back up till the Monday after the Royal Rumble. Right. I think it's a plenty of time. Plenty of time to rest and have, you know, and, and do bookings and whatever exactly. you got to do. Well, so fired. Teddy comes out, talks about how the WWE always wants to keep a brother down. Keep the brother down. But that's about to change as the nation is about to take over this place as he orders them to beat down Triple H. Then they stand over him as Raw ends. Ain't the black. We are the nation of Delaware. Should we go that route? Or should they just do be the nation? It could just be the nation. Everybody I knows think. what it is. Yes. Everybody knows exactly what that is. So, uh, so let's and we go on. And we go on to the chamber. You know, you could have them a little bit, maybe show up, maybe not show up. You know, cause more trouble. Because mm -hmm. you want to make them. I mean, you want them to be like the old nation, but you also want to be a little bit more like the four horsemen. Right. The styling, the profiling, pretty much beating anybody's butt. Make them know they can't, you know, they can't be stopped. You, know? mm -hmm. you got Mark Henry, you got Brutus Clay, two very big guys. True. JTG, who needs a change, he needs to be a change. I would, you know, I would, I would, I would use his name, mm -hmm. the JTG, and make a name. I like, like uh, Jameson, Tyrone Gibson, or something, you know, right. Gibbs, something like that, you know. And give him some character, cause the JTG. G thing went. That's why he got fired. Exactly. I mean, because he answered the phone. He said, so uh, <laughs> he would have still came to work the next. Yes, but then you had the at the, at the uh, chamber match. You have your regular chamber match. You have the champion who would be Rusev from the from the final thought before when I said, you know, make him be the badass Russian who can't be beat. Yep. You'd have him defend the title in the chamber against Brian Cesaro, Orton, Reigns, and Zayn. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. Which would get in. From a win the pre-show match. Have two NXT guys fight the pre-show. Get the winner. I mean, that's a big kick there. Hey, right. You won, you get in the match. Exactly. Of course, he could be the first one gone because he's an NXT guy. Yeah. You know, so. You have the fatal four-way for the shot. You'd have Mark Henry, John Cena, Ambrose, and Rollins. Which John Cena would win. Which would lead to John Cena versus Rusev. America. Hogan 2.0. Rusev. Come out with the flags and all that yes. junk. And you'd have the eight-man tag match. You'd make Truth, Titus, JTG, and Brodus versus some of the people they attack, like Big Show, Woods, Rose, Young. Darren. Darren Young. Darren Young. Or, or anybody else. Sheamus. It don't matter. It's just a four right. there. So, and then you go to SummerSlam. I think you then you draw it out of SummerSlam. They had a few matches at WrestleMania. Right. Then you draw it out of SummerSlam. And after SummerSlam, I would have every one of them walk out of SummerSlam with gold. U.S. title, IC title, tag titles. Have Mark Henry beat John Cena. I know we'd have to have some interference. For the World Championship. Yeah. Titus O'Neil, he could be United States. Intercont it don't matter. It goes either way. Same with JTG. He could be Intercontinental United States. It don't matter. No difference either way. And have Brodus and, and Truth be tag team champions. Right. And get rid of R. I'd call him Ronnie, Raw. I mean, go back to Ron Killings if you want to, you know. Just change it up some. Yep. I mean, you can do it some way where they can own the rights to the name, yeah. and it's something different. Yeah, yep. I don't understand. That's what drives me crazy. Why can't a person? I know you want to. I know you want your own thing, but why can't a person when they come into the company keep part of their name and you just change the back part or the front part? Kind of how they did Daniel Ryan. Yes, they switched it around. But CM Punk kept his own name. Yeah. Cody Rhodes has his name. Yeah. Ted DiBiase had his name. Oh, or Ted. Right. <laughs> But it's just weird how they change some and they don't change the other. Curtis Axel. Michael McGillicuddy. It's weird. <laughs> just give his name. Or part of it. Michael Henning would have been fine, but that's a story for another day. Yeah, another day, yeah. We'll talk Jeez. about that later on. It's like, are you, are we won't, we're not going to say, we're not going to tell you who your father is. And then we are. Yeah. So. And you get, like I said, we go and let them go and carry it. And they carry the belts until Survivor Series worth. They lose from the belts, and then TLC, they, they're, then none of them are champion until they go back to the Royal Rumble. Then we do the old Four Horsemen bunkhouse stampede thing. Right. Where one tells the other ones to eliminate themselves so right. he can go on to win. But, of course, Tyus O'Neill wants his time to shine. Right. 
And of course, the other ones get back in the ring. You think they're back in Mark Henry over Titus. Right. And they all attack Mark Henry and toss Mark Henry out. So that's his. He turns face again for his last run in the WWE as a face. There you go. He can face all of the members of the nation. And it's sometime during right. his own little, this year. He can have his own little group like they did the. Uh, what was that little group of Ken Shamrock, Big Show, Test, and. Um, I know. Some weird thing. It is. Yes. It's very strange. And Mick Foley was in it. it the union. The union. They could be like the union. <laughs> hey, that stuff worked in the Attitude Era. I'm not saying go full Plus Attitude same. Era. I'm not saying go full Attitude Era no. on this stuff. Make it new, but you can use the same concept. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it could work. I mean, and, and I wish they wouldn't have called Cody and go to the Brotherhood. Because the Brotherhood would have worked. For like a couple black guys, yeah. Yes, it would have worked great. But that's my final thoughts. It wasn't the biggest rant they could as have called the other them was. as the Brothers Rhodes. Or the Rhodes Brothers. Or the Rhodes Dynasty. The Rhodes Dynasty, exactly. Or the the Hart Dynasty. Yeah. I know. Brotherhood. So, uh, what we forgot to do in part one was show what the person who wins the tournament will get to hold and, and have I a picture with us. You know what? And I've been thinking about this. I still want to tease it some more. I want to wait until next week when we go down even further in the brackets. Okay. I want them to say, what is it? What is it that they're going to get? So just in case, just in case that these, the, the wrestlers and the fans are, didn't get to watch this episode, I want to wait until they watch another episode that is about the brackets. So you know what? You're going to have to wait till next week. I've got it right here with me. You just <laughs> don't know what it is. But there is something that you get if you win the brackets. And we're going to let you know. We want to... I want to tease it some more. Well, Have you come back for something? You see what I'm saying here? Yes. So you know what? Come back next week, and you're going to see exactly what the winner will get if they win the tournament. They win the brackets. Yeah, they, gonna they get to get to... It's going to be a little something different. Something different, yeah. It's going to be fun, though. We're just having fun with this. So you're going to be able to see it. Come back next week, and we'll talk about it in the very first segment. Yeah, so get out and vote, vote, vote. Yes, we'll keep pushing it on Facebook. Smack down your vote. Smack down your vote. <laughs> because if not, there'll be a lot of people unhappy. If, if a lot of people are going to be cut Riker out of the tournament. Riker and them don't make it. Because look right now, Riker. Riker and Beast, they're not going to make it because they're tied. Mr. Fantasy and Shane Gibson, they're tied. They're not going to make it. Nope. Get the votes out there. Come on, guys. And come on. Some of these people who have no votes, you don't have one fan that can vote for you? Let's get the vote out there, folks. Get the vote, vote out there. Vote, vote, Smack down your vote. And let's see who can come out on top of our Andy Bryan. That's right. So we're going to see you next week for episode 16, where we talk about some more indie stuff and some more WWE. TNA and we'll talk is. about TNA and what happened on their pay-per-view. Oh, yes. We'll see you next time. For Top Rope Reality, I'm Justin Carter. And I'm Mike Hogan. Thanks for watching again.